everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights. Last episode, we entered the city of Luskin, a city under siege in essence. While formerly ruled by five high captains, three of them are dead or missing, and the remaining two have torn the city apart in a great war between them. We spoke with people inside this brothel to learn more about what's going on, and... Well, we have keys that we can use in order to get into their territories. We still need to go and talk with other people around here, though. Uh, I think this is where the merchants are. You know what? Never mind. We're going to start by going and investigating the inn over here. Probably not a terrible place to go to. Oh, I didn't even notice these were here. Can we actually go in? I have failed. In nope, the task. we can't. Probably the same thing here. I have failed. Yep, in same the task. thing there. All right. There's a couple of crates here that we can investigate for some coin. All right. Let's take a look inside the inn here. The Cutlass Inn. Greetings, my lord. Have you come to find refuge at the Cutlass Inn, like most of these other folk? Business has been poor since our high captain sealed the gates and docks, so I'm more than pleased to welcome you. The fighting mostly bypasses my inn, so it's fairly safe if you wish to stay here. Supplies have been scarce, but I'll serve you as best I can. Who are you? The name's Aruf Thunderfist, if you must know. I be the proprietor of this inn, although it's not much to look at with things the way they are. Normally we'd be bustling with all the sailor folk and other travelers that would come through the city. At the moment all I've got are locals who are taking refuge from the fighting. I've got a few meager rooms available still and some watered down ale, but not much besides. It's more than most have, however. How much are your rooms? Sorry, I'd like to accommodate you, but the inn is packed to the rafters with refugees as it is. Could I ask you a few questions? Well, I suppose there's no harm in it. What would you like to know? Just what is going on in Luskin, anyway? Ah, uh, well, that's a big question, isn't it? The High Captains have been fighting for weeks now, each trying to kill the other. They've gone completely crazy, I've heard, each trying to take power in the city for himself. Half the city has been burnt down between the fighting. The pirates in Mirabar have completely blockaded the area. Word is that the High Captains got sorcerers summoning monsters to fight for them. It's been complete chaos. Do you know what started all of this? Nobody does. The High Captains have always been at each other's throats, but they've never resorted to pitch battles in the streets and creating monsters. Maybe the Arcane Brotherhood wants there to be only one High Captain. Not sure. Everyone knows the Brotherhood is the real power here, but they haven't done a thing about all the fighting. Tell me about the Arcane Brotherhood. Oh, aye, sorcerers they are. They live in the Host Tower on their island just off the coast. Powerful, mysterious bunch. Everyone knows they're the real reason Luskin has the power it does. Nobody knows much else about them, though. They don't let anyone on their island, and word has it they speak only to the High Captains. Why they're get letting all of the, this fighting go on is anyone's guess. It's not like we can ask them to put a stop to it. How do you know, get into the Host Tower, then? You don't get into the Host Tower, that's just it. There's a bridge to their island up in the northwest part of the district, but you don't won't get across it unless the Brotherhood wants you to. I suppose the High Captains would know more about it. They're the only ones who might even want to go out there, believe me. Tell me about the High Captains. Well, there used to be five of them. Since the fighting started, three of them have died. Or gone missing, I suppose nobody really knows. There's only two of them left, Barum and Kurth. The two of them have gone mad, I've heard, doing everything they can to kill the other. Tell me about Barum. High Captain Barum is a slippery one. I'm not surprised he survived. He used to have his base down in the slums, but that was burnt down long ago. Some say he's retreated down into the sewers with the rats. Don't know how much stock I put in that, though. Tell me about Kurth. He's the most powerful of the High Captains. Or he was, I suppose. His tower was near here to the west, but that was destroyed last week. I'm told he's taken his bloody hands and barricaded himself in West Harbor. The district's all closed off, so I'm not even sure how one would get in there now if you cared to. Do you know, uh, why hasn't anyone put a stop to this? Like who? Luskin ain't part of the Lord's Alliance. The Lords are probably praying that the whole city goes up in flames. The High Captains each have hordes of soldiers under their command. Nobody can stand up to them. Except maybe the Arcane Brotherhood, but they've done nothing. Have you heard any rumors? 
Oh, some people say High Captain Barham's gone and allied with a pack of necromancers, that he summoned all the undead in the streets. Some say High Captain Kurth is working with the Brotherhood to raise an army to take over the North. Others say Luskin is the same plague as Neverwinter does, but here it's driven everyone mad. I say that's just crazy talk, though. You see what I mean, though? You can't listen to that nonsense. Truth is, no one knows what's going on. Um... Have you heard of any cults in the city? Huh, <laughs> there could be all sorts of religious cults here in Luskin, friend, and nobody would bat an eye about it. If it makes you feel better, I haven't heard anything about cults. Necromancers, perhaps, but no cults. What's this about necromancers? Oh, nothing, really. Some say the High Captain Barum has aligned himself with a group of necromancers. Hence the undead in his forces. Not sure that the Arcane Brotherhood would stand for that, though. Of course, for all I know, they may be necromancers themselves. Can you think of anyone who might know more? About cults? Well, maybe the priests of the Temple of Tempest, if they're still alive. Otherwise, I can't think of a one. Tempest? Hmm. Is there anywhere I can find work here? Hardly anyone is working. The city is more or less ground to a halt for all the fighting. If you're the adventurous sort, though, I suppose there's people who'd want things done still. Maybe talk to Mistress Londa, or Ellen Wind. They're both folks here at the end who are desperate to find loved ones. Maybe they'll hire you. I don't know. All right, goodbye. As you wish, friend. Do be careful in the streets. All right. Well, I suppose we can head this way first. Hi there. I can't go home because my house burnt down. I greet you. What's your brandish to think about? Put it away. What can I get you? I? Something you want? We haven't much. What is this place? This be the Cutlass Inn. You telling me you're from out of Luskin? I haven't seen a strange face since the battle started. Yes, I'm from Neverwinter. From Neverwinter? Huh. Even with that plague of yours, you should have stayed there. Luskin's no place for anybody now. Can I ask you a question? Aye, if you be quick. Uh, what's going on in, t in this town? Is the damned high captains warring on each other, sure enough. They've been tearing apart the city for weeks now. You can't walk the bloody streets. Each side will think you're working for the other and will kill you in sight. They loot and burn and plunder as they, and murder as they please. I think the whole city's gone mad. Half of Luskin's been torn apart and nobody knows why. If you ask more questions, you should talk to Aruf. I have things that I need to What can doing. I get you? Have you heard of any cults in Luskin? Cults? We've enough problems, my lord. Cults would be the least of them. What can I get you? Um, uh, who are all these people here? Normally we'd be full to the bloody rafters with your usual sort of pirates and smugglers. These folk all be locals put out of their homes. The soldiers don't bother us none for now, so the inn's a decent place for refuge. Our roof's too kind to charge them, neither. Okay, then. Anything in the kitchen here? Ah, here's a chest. With a potion of clarity. Excellent. Couple barrels over here. Oh, this isn't a kitchen, this is just like a storage area. Okay, fair enough. Alright. Uh, mentioned Ellen Wind, who I believe is right there, yes. Don't mind me. Uh, hello there. Might I ask your name, friend? Oh, yes, my name is Ellen Wind. Ellen Wind Dialine. Um, and you are? My name is Ken Daniels. Pleased to meet you. I would be more pleased to meet you if it were not such a terrible day, Ken. Can you tell me what's going on in Luskin? What's going on? The High Captains are trying to take Luskin for themselves, of course. They would do whatever they please in this city. And it's... It's the innocent... They're the ones who have to pay. What do you mean? My sister. My dear Ravain is being held by Captain Kurth, the most powerful of the High Captains fighting for control of the city. I have paid him a fortune in ransom, begged him even to release her, but he refuses. There is no authority to, for me to turn to. Kurth does as he pleases. I fear I shall never see her again. Why is Kurth holding her captive? Ravain is... she's a beautiful woman. When his men raided our home and took most of my wealth, she caught his eye and he took her too. I dare not imagine what he has done to her. Where is she being held, do you know? Kurth once had a tower not far from here, but it was burnt down to the, in the recent fighting. My Yvain could be dead, and if not, she is wherever Kurth has moved to. 
Some say that his bloody hands have taken over the West Hama district, walled it off from the rest of the city. If so, I have no clue how anyone might reach her. My sister has some skill with magic. I would have hoped it would allow her to escape Kurth on her own, but that doesn't appear to be the case. What would be the reward if I rescued her? Kurth and his men took most of my wealth for their own use, but I still have some of it. I would gladly give all I own for a vain safe return. All of it! I could rescue her for you. You do seem like one who knows his way with a sword. I do not wish to endanger a vein further, but... Oh, if there's a chance for her rescue... I... I've been told that near Kurth's ruined tower there's a gap in the wall which may lead into West Harbor. I have been too frightened to try it myself, but perhaps you... Perhaps you could attempt it. Here, I'm giving you a ring that belongs to a vein. If you will find her, she will likely be so frightened. This will let her know that I've sent you. Perhaps it will help. Find a vein, please. I beg you, find her, or tell me what has become of her. I will die if I do not know. I'll do what I can. Uh, the vein will be returned, safe and sound, I promise. That... I appreciate such a promise. I pray that you find a vein and return her to me. She does not deserve the cruel fate I fear awaits her. Of course. And I'm just going to get that out of the way so that Dalen will be stuck. Alright. And there's Londa, who is also spoken of. Please forgive me, but I am in no mood to speak. I am sure others here will accommodate you. Who are you? I am, or rather I was, the Countess Londa Whitesnow. That means nothing anymore. Now I am merely Londa. What happened? Uh, I see you intend to be persistent. Very well. You wish to know what is wrong? I shall tell you, though my story is not a unique one here. That evil man, High Captain Barham, invaded our home with his soldiers. He desired all our, our wealth, to pay for his army and his war, no doubt. My husband objected, naturally. Without even a thought, Barham... He... Cut my husband down. Murdered him. I still remember his laughter as he took my children, all nine of them, and turned me out of my home. Once he was done with it, he burned it to the ground. Now my husband is dead, and that fiend holds my children. I know nothing of their fate, and have nothing left and nowhere to run. That is my tale, sir. That is very sad. Aye, it is very sad. I would do anything to have my children back, but Baron will not even see me. And no one can help. Perhaps I could help. Could you? I would give anything to have my children safe from that fiend, or to at least, at least know that they are all right. I could reward you. I have no coin here, but my husband had some saved. I know where it is, and I could tell you. It would be enough, I think. Very well, I'll help you. I am glad to hear it. Have you any questions for me, then? Where can I find Barham? His men once had a base in the slums, but that was burnt down more than a month ago as the war in the streets went on. Where he has gone since, I simply do not know. Some people say he lives in the sewers now, but I truly hope not. Do you know where your children might be? No, I have heard no news, and Baron will tell me nothing. He is the only one who would know where they are. Why would Baron be holding your children? I... I wish I knew. Perhaps he has some sinister purpose in mind for them. I do not even want to imagine it. I am hoping he has already sent them somewhere or released them, and I simply do not know where they are. Does Baron have any enemies? I, the other had captains who has fought with, the, with these long weeks. Only Kurth remains, but no one is sure where he is. Kurth would want Barham dead, it is certain. I'll go now. You have given me a glimmer of hope. I... I wish you the best of luck. Okay, then. Anything in these rooms? Not that one. In here? Oh, there's a chest some coins. And what about in here? Another chest. With a topaz. Okay. That appears to be everything in the inn here. I guess we can take a look in the area around the inn here. 
you know, just to get it uncovered. I have like. failed in the task. Oh, there's a crate we can open up and take a look at. There is actually, now that I remember, now that I think about it, there is going to be a quest that we can uh, take care of around this area. I think. Yes, the Jabal Estate. Yeah, we can run in here. Looks like this is actually a dead end too. So. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's a dead end. We're fine. There's literally nothing else around here, so... Open up these barrels. And since we're over here, we'll get that thing back. As soon as I save. Alright, let's go in here. Jadal's estate. And she's right there. This should be easy. I shall do as you ask. Okay, that open. It is done. Fire arrows, don't need to keep those. A book pile here. With a book on Helm's Hold. There's a barrel over here and a chest over there. A gem in that one and in here. Alright, let's speak with this Lady Jadal. Oh, I wasn't expecting any visitors. Are you here to see my husband? I'm afraid he's out of the city right now. Who are you? I am the Lady Jadal. My husband is out of the city right now, however. Is there something I can do for you? I want to speak to you about Herb's ring. You know about the ring Herbie gave me? Oh, Herbie must have sent you, I guess. Well, I don't think what he's asking is very fair. Herbie's just being silly. He gave me his ring because he loves me, and I'm not giving it back because that hasn't changed. Be reasonable. Let's talk about this, shall we? Talk about what? I don't think there's anything to discuss. What about your husband? What will he think of the ring? Oh, if he even notices it at all. First he would have to come home. <laughs> Herbie is just overreacting. Why do you think Herb wants his ring back? I don't know. Maybe he loves me so much that it scares him? Herbie is so sweet. He's frightened of your husband. You want him to get hurt? Well, no. No, of course I don't want Herbie hurt. Well, Herb thinks you must, since you won't return the ring. I don't want Herbie thinking that. No, I... All right, I'll give his ring back. Just give me a moment. Here it is. Take it and go. I'm sure we don't have anything else to discuss. I shall do Indeed. as you ask. Now, if you don't mind, I want to see what's in this room. Anything? A pile of books. A finger of death scroll. We can sell that. And we'll be able to give Herb your ring back right away. It's a quick and easy quest. Walk outside. Here we are. And from here, we can go turn it in. I just want to take a look at what's to the north, if we walk north here. If there's anything up here. Or if it's a dead end. It is a dead end. Oh, there's a crate here. And there's a door over there, I just noticed. Motion of Endurance, I think we're full on those, so I'll sell it. Doesn't look like there's anything else over here, so yeah. Alright, what is in here? Slum building. Uh, it's just a building with some loot that we can get. Ooh, greater restoration. That's a good one. Oof, I'd have to store it in there, but okay. We'll store it in here for now. Remove blindness and deafness. Okay, and some coin. A little damage, but you're fine. Alright, let's go turn in Herb's ring. Simple enough. Then we'll go over into the Merchant District, probably in the next episode. This one go on a little short, but I think it's fine.
Uh, herb is upstairs. Right in here. And there he is. How goes the search? Tell me you have the ring. My third toe has been itching like mad. Oh, and that means all this fighting could stop at any second. I actually have the ring right here. How did you ever manage to convince the woman to give it up? Never mind, I probably don't want to know. As my blind Aunt Binny said when she married unfortunate old Uncle Bucktooth, ignorance is bliss. I seem to recall some mention of a reward. I knew you were the successful type right from the moment I laid eyes on you. Herb, I thought this man could be bigger than Uncle Big Bottom. That's big. So here you go, 650 gold pieces for the ring. Thanks, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. And now I must take my leave for a brief while, in case Lady Judale tries to look me up or worse. It's really a good thing gnomes are short and easy to hide. Farewell, my friend. Of course. And now, we too are going to go outside. And, yeah, I think I'll end this episode here. A little shorter. Eh, second short episode in a while. than I had a long one before the previous one, but still. Next episode, we'll head west into the merchant area. Where we'll probably find the temple and from there actually get some information. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44. That is Ken Daniels and Daylin Red Tiger. This has been a Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights. And I shall see you all next time.